Let's fucking get her done, dude. 78 more players there about to get bounced back to the fucking lobby. What are we talking about, chat? Huh? Howdy do. I'm back. Hoody hoo. Lucy Lou. Skip to you. for deployment. Take this time to warm up. Let's get it. Get to the Where are we going? To downtown, sir. Right there. God damn. I went to go hit my mute uh, button, dude, people, and then I people, cranked people up my headset. Holy full, shit. Full team, and this heli's trying to trap me down. Oh, you do? Yeah, you do need to dip or something. Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, it's coming for me now? And it got me. You're clear wow. to engage all targets. The heli did? Yeah, the heli got me. I got you, Minx. Stay there. I think I do. Uh, I am wounded. I got, oh. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> so is, so. Yeah, the triggers are acting retarded. Like I'm trying to shoot and beats me. The PlayStation Five. I see him. I got him. On. Thank you for liking the stream. Alright, I'm calling you Spring. Coming to you, coming to you, cross the road. Oh, fucking bullshit. One down. Hold up, hold up, slow down. Come on, me. 
Take this one. I just realized I was fucking muted the whole time. Oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> I was fucking way up far. There's like three teams all around me. Do you, baby? That's stupid. I'm gonna Metal Gear Solid this. Dude, this is a cool skate park. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Y'all could work together. Y'all could just work together. They're real close to you. Just wait up. Just wait up, dude. There's no rush. There's no... Nah, dude. There's no rush. There's people camping that shit. Then you're down and out with 20 grand. Oh, it's that buy. I was thinking it was a different buy. Okay. Nah, yeah. Just, just wait up for them. Grab that truck and then go pick him up and then swoop around. It'd literally be a nice little. Nice little gesture. Yep. Wanna hit this? 
Bro, no one hit this? There's a lot of fucking money in here if no one hit this. Y'all have fucking, like, enough for a loadout and me. Damn, look at you. Jeez. <laughs> I have three selfies. Oh no, Minx. I think way. you need a couple more. I don't even think that thing was hit. Nope. It wasn't. Oh, <laughs> down, down, get the down, fuck out Can I, can I land on you and get my guns? Out. You guys get Kilo. Gas is inbound. You don't have enough for a load out. <laughs> Look at my meat, my fucking little 680 bucks, guys. You need it? Here, I got a, I got a You selfie. guys need it? Needs a selfie. I'll take, I'll take everything and anything y'all got. We're not buying load out or? We can buy load out. I'll need that. Oh, it's here it is. Black site is safe. Area secure. Loadout drop headed your way. Should have enough to buy a couple of different guns too. Holy shit. Got a loadout drop inbound. Is it on the building? Where'd it go? Other side. If you get stuck there though, be careful. Needs a th Does anyone need a three fighter? Bring it here. Spring it yeah. Here. Custom I'll weapon buy here. A three -pointer. It's a three -pointer. It's a three -pointer. Where'd it go? Did it just disappear? Or did you pick it up? Someone just picked What's up that? a three pointer I just bought. Gas is moving. No. No. Arma pouch mark. Yeah. Okay, get a red laser on us, guys. We're about to get. Truck, 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 truck. Your team made it to the safe zone. They're going to that loadout. Target yep. Did you get shot again or did you get down to the border? I don't know how that happened. Right in yet. front of you, uh, right in front of Kyle. He's getting sniped. I will not let you die. Broken. Got him. Getting you back in the fight. Bro, yeah, that, that mortar was never cow. fucking, wasn't even near me and it fucking tapped me again. No, there's other people. Eyes up, up there, this there's other people, a different team. That's what got me, yeah. They're jumping over to you, jumping over to you. Oh, I saw one, there's one up the window. Hit 
hit him with that. Hit him with that. Dad, dad, dude. Fucking oh. me, dude. <sighs> rats, dude. Just camping like rats, dude. Fucking, they're camping in corners. Literally camping in corners. Might as well push back and get a buy. One of them at least. There might be another team. There might be two teams in there now. That's the only close by. You're being tracked by an enemy squad. Evade and survive. What? Uh -oh. Helicopter. Hey, <laughs> so. Get someone else back. Don't get me. Oh, you ha I did have a lot of cash, I thought. Do I? No. We're like... You have decent. Uh, we're like 100 shots. Yeah, it's 90, more than... 90. More than... That's definitely, definitely more than anybody else. You... You had, had like 20 something right at one point. You definitely had the most cash. Take 
whatever else you got. I got I looted everything else. Okay, uh, we got enough. Boom. Well, Alright, we got I do got ammunitions once we do land. Yep. Just switch and see. Yeah, we can dip back now. I got another smoke. Get in. Just dropped another smoke. Hey, that's no bad skate park. I'm getting up there. Right at me. Our UAV is I need help. Okay, what's up? Enemy UAV overhead. Damn, back over to y'all. Getting shot through the fucking walls, yeah. dude. Yeah. Broken. Still getting shot fucking through the walls. Snipes. Oh. Fucking so dumb, bro. No way this guy, this guy's fucking hacking, bro. Oh, I'm done with this game tonight. Yeah, this is gonna be my last one anyway. The guy fucking tracked me through the whole fucking Let world and pops them, me bro. once, popped me twice. The second I fucking get through the fucking... I wanna say whoever's with us right now that there are hackers, so... We could work together and try and kill the hackers. Are there hackers here? Yes, there are. Well, they're sniping, but yes. Well, sniping. With aimbot? Yes. Yep, right, right on the, uh... Ah, uh, what is it? The white and blue apartment buildings up top? North 347. On the roof. Yep. Eyes up. right here, too.
Yeah, that's him. Enemy movement. That's the weirdo. Yeah, I'm coming up. Don't shoot me. You cool? Oh. You can come down. I won't shoot you. Which one are you on to go fight? Use the elevator. Plates, you're lucky. Damn. I'm gonna watch this one out. Yes. GG's. GG's. GG's, guys. Have a good one. He knew that guy was up there instantly. Yeah, you know they're on top. You can't use the fucking gas mask or the elevator now.
gas mask. He's dead. They're gonna win. They gotta have a gas mask or something. No? Did they really just win? I think he did. Dude, I've been getting a lot of like southern like lobbies and servers like a lot of freaking Spanish folks yeah. Like a lot a lot yeah, I don't know what it is Like After for especially after like 8 o'clock dude every single lobby's like that. Right. I don't get it It's kind of kind of bizarre Sir. Just like how just like how my freaking garbage people didn't grab my trash, it was kind of bizarre. Yeah. I called them up today and I was like, do you guys not grab my trash? And they're like, we didn't grab it? I was like, no, it's... <laughs> I brought it out there Thursday morning and it's been sitting. I'm like, you guys grabbed everyone else's. Right. So they're... They're having... She looked it up and she's like, yeah, we didn't grab it. So they're sending someone out Monday to grab it. But, Jeez. anywho, well, GG's, Later. yeah, you too, I think, uh, was Robbie staying on, or? Uh, I, I, here. I think they're all getting off, so. Oh, okay, alright. Hello, everybody.
I'm back with another long overdue YouTube video, and it's going to be a predictions video for Super Bowl 57. I figured with Super Bowl 57 being 20-something you know, hours away from now, I figured get a quick video out for you, giving my predictions. And if there's some details that I might have skipped over or completely forgot about, I apologize in advance. So here we go. Uh, the top playoff seeds and conference champions respectively squaring off at University of Phoenix Stadium, uh, the home of the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, NFC versus AFC. Philadelphia Eagles versus Kansas City Chiefs. And this is going to be um, this is going to be an exciting matchup, if you ask me. Uh, Patrick Mahomes Jr. is fresh off his second NFL MVP award win. And he's going to be looking to snap a nine-game uh, losing streak by league MVPs who play in the big game. Whereas on the flip side, you look at the Philadelphia Eagles. They're looking to become the second team in NFL history to win two Super Bowls in a six-year span with a different head coach and a different quarterback. So if you really think about it, Kansas City is going to a Super Bowl against a team with a much deeper roster led by a nasty defense and they have an excellent young coach at the helm. Sounds kind of like the um, uh, the matchup that Kansas City and San Francisco had at Super Bowl 54 um, to cap off the 2019-2020 NFL season, but uh, that's just me, though. Um, another side note for this game, I'm going to make this short and sweet. Um, some people in the liberal left-leaning media are referring to this game as the diversity bowl. Uh, just because the uh, just because of the quarterback situation, Jalen Hurts is black and Patrick Mahomes Jr. is half black, so they're on this high horse of uh, uh, saying that you know two black quarterbacks for the first time ever facing off against each other in the Super Bowl, and that's one of the many uh, important pieces going into this game. I don't look at it that way because, in all honesty, I could give a flying rip less what race you are. Um, that doesn't that doesn't factor into anything one way and or the other. So I'm going to call this game the Kelsey Bowl uh, because you have Jason Kelsey from Philadelphia and you have Travis Kelsey in Kansas City and they're facing off against each other. And I think this is also the first time in NFL history where two brothers from an active roster um, are going to be facing off against each other. Um, yeah, this is you know, the first time two brothers ever faced off against each other. I want to say it was in Super Bowl Forty Seven uh, with what they called the Harbaugh Bowl, John Harbaugh versus Jim Harbaugh. Uh, John Harbaugh, uh, the coach of the Baltimore Ravens, and still is. And Jim Harbaugh was the coach of the San Francisco Forty Niners at the time. So. The second time in 10 years that a set of brothers go up against each other in the Super Bowl, but uh, the first time ever uh, the brothers are a part of an active roster. So, Two times in 10 years you have uh, a set of brothers going up against each other in the Super Bowl. Who would have thought? Uh, so as we, um, as we get ready to go into the, as I'll call it, Kelsey Bowl, uh, both of these teams are constructed very differently. Kansas City's got a number of their um, key players from the Super Bowl 54 roster still at the helm. Um, you have Patrick Mahomes Jr., uh, you have Travis Kelsey, Chris Jones, Frank Clark at defensive end, and a host of others. Whereas the Philadelphia Eagles, they only have they only have seven players from their uh, team that won Super Bowl 52 and in the 2017-2018 season on the roster. Uh, two special teams players, two defensive linemen, and three offensive linemen. But the vast majority of that team, uh, the vast majority of that team is gone too. So uh, both teams boast all, uh, all pro quarterbacks, um, as well as each conference's highest scoring offense in terms of points per game. So in terms of the quarterback battle, it's going to be interesting. I mean, you know, who's going to get the upper hand out of out of Patrick Mahomes Jr. and Jalen Hurts? Um, that's going to be one of the things I'm looking for. <clears throat> um, everyone's like, well, 
looking at Patrick Mahomes Jr. going into this game, how do you feel about him? Um, I have extreme faith in him. I think, especially after he's going to be getting a little more than uh, uh, plenty enough time to uh, prepare and rest his ankle. I mean, he's had a little more than two weeks or so. Uh, so he should be going into this game ready to go. If not at completely at 100%, he should be in at between 95 and 99 percent he's not gonna he's not gonna let something like what uh his high ankle sprain hamper his decision as far as not being able to play at last minute excuse me um i also have um i also have faith in andy reed who ironically is going up against his former team and at the same time the last time the the one and only time that the eagles ended up going to a super bowl under andy reed was the 2004-2005 season where they lost to the New England Patriots. Uh, that was Super Bowl 39, I believe. Yeah, the 2005-2006 NFL season had Super Bowl 40, and that was when the Seahawks lost to the Pittsburgh Steelers. So, yeah, Super Bowl 39. Um, in the Philadelphia Eagles, they had... Uh, Brian Dawkins, Brian Westbrook, um, <clears throat> Donovan McNabb, and Terrell Owens, and a host of others on the roster. But that's a different story for a different day, a completely different roster in ancient history at this point. Um, but anyway, going back to Kansas City, uh, the last four seasons of the, as I'll call it, Patrick Mahomes Jr. and Andy Reid era have finished this way. Uh, two overtime losses in the AFC Championship game and two Super Bowl appearances. One win and one loss. Uh, the loss being a Super Bowl 55 and the victory being a Super Bowl 54. Um, and going into Super Bowl 55, I figured the game was going to be a close one, but Kansas City's offensive line was overmatched, decimated, and flat out got their butts kicked in, uh, in the shipyard by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But now that Tom Brady's no longer in the picture and you know, finally retiring again um, at the age of 45 and a half, it's, it's not really going to matter much now. But that being said, um, Kansas City has been decimated with injuries, and including the high ankle sprain to Patrick Mahomes Jr., uh, some people are saying Kansas City's just limping into this game, and they're not at 100%. But we'll uh, we'll see how wounded they really are. And they're saying they're the. Some people are saying they're the figurative wounded animal, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see just how wounded these guys really are. Uh, but looking at looking at the AFC Championship game between Cincinnati and Kansas City, you could you could still make the argument that number 15 had mobility and. He was still able to throw when given the chance, albeit his mobility was temporarily limited. Um, but with the extended break between the um, respective championship games and the Super Bowl, uh, Patrick Mahomes Jr. is given a little bit of a further chance to get healthy, have some mobility, and continue to go over tape, uh, practice, and do whatever he wants. Welcome back to Monitors Unboxed. Today we're checking out the Alienware AW3423 DWF from Dell. The new lower cost variant of the AW3423 DW we reviewed earlier in the year.
Antes are more difficult than others. Nasi, is everything all right? <sighs> there are times when my father's absence drifts to the back of my mind. And I feel peace for a day or two. But this is not one of those times. I miss him. I miss running with him. I miss Matibele land. He should still be here. And it's my fault that he isn't. I'm sorry, Natty. I wish there was something I could do to help. You have done plenty. In fact, many of my good days are good because of you. The bad days, however, I believe I would feel less helpless if I could truly put an end to Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's miserable lot. Each day they remain free, they do more damage, leaving people like Archie Bickle to suffer the consequences. I agree, Natty. We'll get them. I've never seen someone so committed to a cause. Thank you. I believe we will get them, beginning with Harlow. Thank you for speaking with me. It was very helpful. Rebellion. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. This is a waste of my time. <coughs> ah. Oh, I didn't have to get <coughs> This could prove dangerous if I... Rebellion. Die. Rebellion. Hearing those old fairy tales like Babbity Rabbity takes me back to sitting by the fire. It must lead to something grand.
Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. <laughs> yes, indeed. Talking to myself again. I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my husband passed. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. An archaic puzzle? Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested and wait till I tell you about the rumours surrounding this particular puzzle. My husband Greville insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could take a look. I'd be rather interested to hear what, if anything, you find. If I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. Revelio. I should look into the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Alohomora. Slots are full. That was a big chest. You can only open those once. And you lose whatever, you know. Oh man, that really sucks. Really wish you could carry more. Like once and then they disappear you can't reopen them bummer Revelio. It's you! Oh, I can't thank you enough for rescuing my dear. Hello. It's good to see you once again. Pardon me, sir. Come to stare at the fool, have you? There's poor Ig Haggerty, robbed by his own sister. Ah, uh, she's robbed almost everyone now. So, who's the fool? I, I, I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Then you're the only one who doesn't know about Catherine running off with that thief, Victor Rookwood and his lot. Good riddance, I said. Never thought she'd return a steal from me. But us, but I just know it was her. I want her caught and sent to Azkaban for stealing a prize family heirloom. Sister or no. I could keep an eye out for the thief, sir. You? Ugh. Nothing to be done by the likes of us. This is a job for the fine officer singer, or some such authority. Besides, the thief, my sister, only strikes at night. Coward. Long past your bedtime. What do you have for sale? A 
But now that it's night, I ought to look into this thievery oh, business wow. for Mr. Haggerty. Thank you for your patronage. It's uh, good luck for me you stopped by today. You were able to stop by. Revelio. A part. It's you. Hello, Hamora. Oh, I can't thank you enough for that. He often speaks of the bravery you have. You have my undying love. Rebellion. Rebellion. More gold. I must be getting closer. Ran Rock to blame. Rebellion. Bombarder. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Rebellion.
Revelio. Bombarder! Bombarda. That's that. Rebellion. I should investigate. And here's my last Merlin trial. Crucio. Rebellion. Confringo. Bombarda. Yeah, um... What am I supposed to do here? Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. <laughs> Rebellion. These rocks have seen better days. What was that? You'll regret this for the rest of your short life. Oh, try not to make this too easy <sighs> for me. I've raided rock more times than I can count. I'll make you wish you were back at school. Forget what you're supposed to do with these things. Honestly. Confringo! Depulsor! Bombarda! Confringo! Expelliarmus! Glacius! Accio! You're supposed to get these butterflies, uh, yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. Look at Lumos. Uh. Repair one. Lumos. This looks intriguing.
Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellion. <laughs> A niffler. It wasn't capturing Haggerty after all. Rebellion. 
I have the Nifma. Now to look for the Haggerty family heirloom. Revelio. That must be the Haggerty family heirloom. I have some good news, Mr. Haggerty. I unmasked your thief. Nothing to unmask, was there? We all know that the thief was my sister, Catherine. Actually, sir, the thief was a Niffler. A, a, a what? You know, small, furry, pilfering. I followed it to its lair. Catelyn was the only one who knew how to get into our homes, where to find our treasures. But I suppose, <laughs> mangy little blighter. Well. If you found the Niffler's lair, as you say, you must have found my heirloom. As a matter of fact, I did. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. Catherine's a disappointment for certain, but I never wanted to believe she was behind this. Now, thanks to you, I won't have to. What a strange world we live in. Suppose they can't send a Niffler to Azkaban. At least I got my heirloom back. Revelio. Mind now, Demi guys. Any luck with that puzzle? I know what that means. Merlin trial. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? You made it. At least we're out of the classroom. I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. Action. 
You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Bombarder! Revelio! Can bring up Lumos. Lumos. Foipers. I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Foipers song is said to drop. If the Moonstone is here and so. Rebellion! And now this. Akio. We need to find moths for those spinners. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. 
Lumos. L Perhaps the runes on the walls have something to do with finding Rebellion. Another obstacle. No matter. I'm sure we can work out a way of action. Lumos. Lumos. Rebellion. Rebellion. Bombarda. Rebellion. Petrificus Totalis. Rebellion. 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 Confront them. The ball club. Lumos. 
Revelio. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Should we take a closer look? You read my mind. Even more beautiful close up. It's got to be here. I just know it. Rebellion. Confringo. Given what swoopers are known to do, I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very Aaron funny. Searle. I was just thinking how it's proof that Pope just haven't been here, assuming this is where the Moonstone is. Which means we're one step ahead of them. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the Henge. Revelio. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Shall we? We shall. 
If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. That's the henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. It's crazy. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure it how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the henge. I don't think Doran would knowingly send us into danger. You're right. I suppose I'm worrying over nothing. Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. How's your gran doing, by the way? Nothing keeps gran down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. Uh, I hope cool so. Gran vibe. understands how important it is to protect those who need it. Pretty cool. I don't have any gold guns, dude. We can safely say we know where the moonstone goes. Do you know how rare it is to see even one? They only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose the moonstone allowed nice it to hair. happen now. Is the pattern they so left the behind on the I ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same, though. I'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Gran that I've managed to see not one, but two mooncalf dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually, I... We didn't I get any dubs today. Well, they got two, but I didn't get a dub with them. There's a lot of hackers, dude. I'm going to tell you right now, there were a lot of hackers. That's what happens. You get, like, two wins, maybe three if you're lucky, and then you just get all hacker lobbies. I'd love to hear about how you and Highwing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, Highwing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed Highwing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted mooncalves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen. A good one. A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see, the night I freed Highwing was also the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Merlin? I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in. But the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with Highwing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. 
I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol, and we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the Moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. You know, you never know. A lot of hackers. In fact, I might not be playing it because, like I said, they got two dubs and then I joined up on them because Nai left. And, dude, I'm telling you, once you get two, two dubs, maybe three if you're lucky, it's all hackers. It's just, it's not fun. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal Just say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's Super it. Bowl Sunday. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. This game's pretty good, not gonna lie. It's like watching another Harry Potter movie. Oh, the ministry will hear about Troll this! It. The fiends will rot in it! Sir, are you alright? You seem to be in some distress. Alright? Do I look alright? I've been kidnapped! How can you be kidnapped when you're right here? What sort of question is that? Of course I'm right here. I've more than one frame. Do you only have one home? It's my other frame. It's been stolen. And by students, no less. They pay filthy fees to steal my other frame. Oh, dear. That sounds awful. Well, awful is exactly what a story of cricket is. She's I don't know about that, all of it. I don't know about she that. She and her friends were moaning about me of all the nerve. Then I heard a plot to enlist a gang of good for nothings to have me stolen from the three broomsticks. That's why my other frame hung. Horrible of a place. Though I suppose one could do worse. I once knew a portrait who ended up in the hog's head. No one's heard from him since. Right. So back to your frame. Ah, yes. There I was, powdering my wig, and the next thing I knew, I was being manhandled by rogues and carried off. As if I can afford not to be at my post. I do important work for the headmaster, and I need my other frame back at the three broomsticks. I could look into the matter for you. Oh, would you? How marvelous. Do it quickly, though, won't you? The place they took me to is quite beneath me. Of you go! It's an outrage! No one makes a fool of Ferdinand Octavius Pratt! Okay then. Good. 
to uh, get to rescue this portrait. I'm gonna tell you right now, Aaron. This game gives uh, Assassin's Creed vibes with like the the map and the interface. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. And literally like the menus, the gear. It's very similar to like. Uh, Assassin's Creed. A story of cricket? That depends. Am I in trouble? Ferdinand Pratt thinks you should be. Says you stole his frame. I wouldn't call it stolen. Relocated's more like it. How do I put this nicely? Ferdinand Pratt is a postulant boil, and he's lucky I didn't have him sealed in a wall. Surely he can't be that terrible, can he? All he does is spy on students in here and report back to the headmaster. Sometimes, if there's nothing to report, he'll make it up. I spent four hours in detention last week, all because he told Black that I was planning to drain the lake, whatever that means. It was the last straw. He and his frame had to go. May I ask where you put him? No, well, I, I, I didn't put him anywhere. From, the frame is likely with the fine gents I paid to snatch it. They camp in a ruin by the coast. Just I just wanted like, it far enough you know away I mean? that I'd never have to think about like Ferdinand Pratt off, ever again. <laughs> you do know he's screaming in the library as we speak. Oh, for the love of Merlin. If you ask me, he's got nothing to scream about. I could have had him put in the hogshead. The pampered Pratt would have hated it. Grimy walls, smell of goats. And the patrons, they eat snooty princes like Ferdinand for dinner. But what's done is done. He isn't here anymore, and if I were you, I should enjoy it. Lovely chatting with you. Yeah, I was just joshing you, dude. No offense. I just, uh, I love sports, dude. I mean, you know me. I work in a sporting store. So, all about the sports. You can see Hogwarts from here. That's great, dude. Um, I've actually, I've fished, dude. I've fished and kept them and ate them um, a lot. I've done that a lot, dude. I used to, it's been so long since I've filleted a fish, I probably couldn't tell you how to do it. I'd have to relearn, but I used to know how to fillet fish. And I used to, me and my buddy caught like a hundred bluegill, or my neighbor, and uh, we filleted like a hundred bluegills, crazy. Hogs meat, here I come. Just put them in his freezer. situations where I've had to basically work every day. Yeah, no, I didn't know that.
Yeah, I didn't know all that about you, dude. What are you up to now? Beast will make you skin beneath. It's tough, dude, like, living on your own. It's, uh, you pretty much have to work every day if you want to live on your own. Flying fish is easy, yeah, I know. It is easy, but if you don't do it for, like, ten years, dude, you forget. It's been, like, ten years. I've seen your magic. I know. As you wish. Nobody will believe I defeated uh, the Lashwinder by thank myself. You, Aaron. Appreciate that, brother. Later, dude. Good luck in your fishing, dude. I hope. Uh, I know a Merlin trial when I see ones. one. Bro, I love fishing, dude. It's it's been forever. I like fishing, honestly, I could do it every day. Um, yeah. Later, dude. This could prove. Rebellion. Me. Reminds me of Voldemort's cave. Rebellion.
Yeah. For sure, dude. I should investigate. No, maybe not. Rebellion. It's glitched out. I don't get it. Do we have to do this Marlon trial? Oh, here we go. Okay, this is it. 100% this is it. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Alohomora. Well, it's about time. It's a wonder there's anything left of me. Calm down. I'm here now. Calm down. Those buffoons outside have been talking about burning me. Me! If they weren't all sharing half a brain, they'd realize I'm worth more to them intact and at the three broomsticks. How is that? With everything I overhear, I'm the veritable trove of information. Now, don't just stand there. I need to be back by cocktail hour. The place will be like a funeral without me. Let's get out of here then, shall we? Uh, be sure to carry me carefully, won't you? My pantaloons are already creased. Where have you put me? It's pitch black in here. I shan't stand for this. Revelio. This looks intriguing. Draft in here coming straight up my pantry. I'm sure you have your reasons, but breaking into Alfred Lawley's home wasn't the brightest idea. I must protest! This is no place for polite company! Not for the horrors you own! Finally! Back on my wall and more angelic than ever! There you are. Welcome back. I'm not usually one to give thanks. There's a sort of servant ring to it. But I suppose some gratitude is in order. As a show of goodwill, I'll exclude whatever misdeeds I hear about you in my reports to the headmaster. And I do hear quite a bit. Now, be off with you. I can't be seen talking to a student. 
Rebellion. I beg your pardon, but would you... Is everything all right? Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty. Betty Bugbrook. And no, everything is not all right. It's my dear friend Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. Known her for years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her when... Well, the last time I saw her... Hazel, loyal friend that she is. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. I know you Hogwarts students learn enough. Perhaps you could find my unicorn. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety. Oh, you've a good soul. I don't know precisely where she is. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately... Remember? You'll know her by her brilliant coat. Oh, and be warned, she's a stubborn girl. She may need some convincing to come with you. I need to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. It sounds as if she's in trouble. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Hazel must be here somewhere.
Revelio. Come on, Hazel. Oh, no, you don't. Not my fault, you're a dead Rebellion. Castle must have been quite stately in its time. Accio. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Right, won't you? I'm only trying to help. Fuck you, dude. Why are you making this so hard, dude? Expelliant! Accio!
No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. It's going outside of the boundaries too. You do cooperate, won't you? Now, now, I'm only trying to help. Take Hazel back to a vivarium now. I should let Madame Bugbrook know she's safe. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I don't like having a goblin mind so sometimes. Did you find my pointy point? Madam Bugbrook, I found your unicorn friend, hey? Oh, what a relief! Is she all right? Uh... We're both fine, and I can keep her safe, I promise. Oh, I'm so relieved. And of course. Good care of Hazel now.
Tell him what lies in wait for me in there. Bombarder! Rebellio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Repairer. Confringo Rebellion That 
That's it. I should tell Madam Twiddle about what happened. Close to doing all the side quests too. Defeat enemies in all battle arenas. That is an uh, achievement. in London.
Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Yes. I had to destroy a number of large vases, and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well done! Oh, I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional? Oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue. Rebellio. Rebellion. It's you. Oh, I can't thank you enough for rescuing my dear Isco. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Confringo! Have you learned nothing about Wanda to Accio. Not a day goes by I don't need something I didn't learn at Hogwarts. Rebellio. Not saying I don't cast the odd cleaning spell when no one's looking. Ringo. Incendio! 
Revelio certainly never revealed the charm of my potions, Professor Bacchus. Not the best place for an unaccompanied student. Rebellion. Everything all right? Far from it. I wandered into a ruin and was attacked by spiders. Oh. If you've got some Wiganweld potion, though, I'm sure that would put me right. Spiders do tend to appear in ruins. Here, I have enough to spare. Stay away from the ruins, though. You've saved me life. Oh, I can never repay you. Yes, yes, I shall stay away from them, you'll see. Must stay away from ruins with spiders. Ruins with spiders. Oh, and thank you. Please accept this token of my appreciation.
I should investigate. Right out of the storybook. Rebellion. Revelio. Is everything all right, Madame... Olivier, Madame Olivier, and no, everything is not all right. The vermin known as the Ashwinders have infested nearby Klagmar Castle, disrupting not only our sense of peace, but our valuable trait. It appeared that they were finally going to slither away until Sylvana Selwyn arrived. Sylvana Selwyn? Head rat. My guess is that if someone were to take out Selwyn, the rest of the Ashwinders would disperse. But Selwyn is a skilled wizard. I certainly can't take care of him myself. Believe me, I wish I could. I'm at my wit's end. I could take care of Selwyn for you. Goodness, no. I'd never ask a student to confront Selwyn. But I'm offering a nice bounty on his head. Feel free to put the word out. I only want Cragcroft to go back to normal. I'm tired of living under the thumb of Salwyn and his cronies. Rebellion. Sounds as if Sylvana Selwyn has to go. Could it be? A Merlin trial. Alohomora. Rebellion.
Hello, Hamora. Who lives here? Alohomora. Revelio. Revelio. Mine now, Demi guys.
Indeed, here I come. Rebellion. Rebellion. Rebellious. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade?
handy resource indeed, your field guide. You haven't had mushroom stew like what my mother used to make. Like heads of lettuce, those mushrooms were. No sign of Lodgok out here. He must be inside already. This card ought to get me deeper into the mine. Just like Gringotts, but I'm in the driver's seat this time. How deep will this take? Red Rob's gonna be pleased with our progress. Who will come back? Bombarda.
Rebellion. Rebellion. Sandio should be enough to light these flames.
I can get the ramrods before Lord Gok does. Another drill is complete. The wizarding world will crumble. <laughs> I can end this right now. I have to destroy the drill and stop Ranrock's loyalists. Came to stop this. What is this you've brought me? It cannot be. All this time. You knew. You knew where it was. Are you all right? I'll never understand you, Lord Gok. So, Gollum, that witch did not consider you an equal. She, like all wizard kind, sought only to use you. You're wrong, Ranrock. The young ones are especially deceitful. They are taught to hide their disgust for us as they exploit us. Astonishing that our ancestors ever trusted each other. All this time, looking everywhere for the final repository, searching in vain for Bragpaw's last journal. Wasted my time chasing a child. And my little brother knew where it was all along. But now, I don't need you. I don't need any of you! I was bringing it to you. You are a traitor to our kind! No! Abomicadabra!
Oh, Lord Gok. Dead by his brother's hand. No wonder he tried so hard to reason with him. Now to get out of this blasted place. I'll send word to Fig to meet me in the map chamber. He and the Keepers need to know Ranrock has that journal and knows where the final repository is. You're my summoner's court opponent, Professor Ronan. Indeed I am. <laughs> Professors are allowed to have fun once in a while, too, you know. Of course. I look forward to playing against you. And I you. I've been playing this for eons, so you haven't a chance of winning. How about we get started anyway? I'm ready. No time like the present. I do not recall teaching you how to play like that. Make mistakes. The 
That's no way to treat a professor. Akio! And there you have it. Yet another opportunity to learn and improve. Not to worry, you're still finding your stride. Uh, not to worry. I haven't been beaten by a student yet. Care to go another round? I would. I'd like a chance to improve my record. Excellent. We all make mistakes. And there you have it. Yet another opportunity to learn and improve. Akio! We all make mistakes. Yet another opportunity to learn and improve. Akio! Akio! And there you have it. Yet another opportunity to learn Not to worry. I haven't been beaten by a student yet. Care to go another round? I would. I'd like a chance to improve my record. Excellent. We all make mistakes. Akio. I do not recall teaching you how to play like that. Akio. Now, nicely played. Akio. Akio. And there you have it. Yet another opportunity to learn and improve. Not to worry. I haven't been beaten by a student yet. Care to go another round? I would. I'd like a chance to improve my record. Excellent. We all 
make mistakes. And there you have it. Yet another opportunity to learn and improve. Akio. We all make mistakes. I do not recall teaching you how to play like that. Akio! And there you have it. Yet another opportunity to learn and improve. Delightful to see such mastery from one your age. Well done. You've beaten me at my own game. I suppose there's not much left you can teach me now. <laughs> One always has something to learn. You see, I just taught you something. As the new Summoner's Court champion, you have earned a token of recognition. Do not let it go to your head. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Come on in. Healing potions of a special... Should you need him?
can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue pants. Here you found a bit of welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. According to the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is great news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbor's journals. He killed Lodgok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart! Lodgok... Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. Isadora told Bragbor about the magic when she asked him to build a container for her. I've seen her memories. Isadora left memories for someone to find? You know what she did? Her memories showed what she did for her father, which I also saw in Professor Rookwood's pensive. And a conversation with Bragbor in which she expressed frustration about the limits being placed on her use of ancient magic. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils, whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Perhaps then you can tell me a little more about the memories of Isadora that you witnessed. <laughs> 